Okay, um, obviously, difficult loss, tough environment for us here today. Um, you know, the, the weather was a big factor. Um, it was a very good football game. Uh, came down to several plays, probably. Um, you know, that really made a difference. Um, give them credit. Uh, you know, DeAndre Swift is an impressive player. And uh, just gave him a congratulations after the game and, and uh, wished him goodbye. He needs to go to the NFL. He's, uh, he is an elite player. And um, I'm proud of our guys. I thought we fought all night. And, and again, in a tough situation, we knew uh, Georgia was going to respond and play like they did. And uh, I was uh, proud of our guys. I, I, I promise you, uh, they left it all on the field. They played extremely hard. Um, and they made some critical plays. We made a few mistakes. And that's the difference in a game like this. Um, you know, and you can boil it down probably to three or four plays that make a big difference. Starting with the punt, you know, we talked about ball security. Lynn did an incredible job all, all night. They carried the ball, we put one on the ground. Um, we dropped a touchdown. Um, so, you know, you got a few plays out there, or, or uh, you know, it's a very close game. Mark, your defense was so good. You got down, though, finally. Did you consider putting Sawyer in? Was he not available? What? <laughs> Well, it, it was tough. I mean, it, you know, listen, it's, it's difficult for me to continue to answer questions on this with y'all. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to withhold information. You know me, I'm very upfront and try to be as honest as I can. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's close. It, you know, it's tough on a cold, rainy, miserable night uh, to put him in and uh, when he's uh, just barely or getting close to being ready to play. And, um, you know, he's, he, he, he would go. You, you saw him go. You saw him go in the South Carolina go game. He would, he would play if his arm was falling off. But uh, I can't do that to him again. Um, it was a tough night. We knew it was going to be a tough grind. And uh, so we, we did what we did. We, we, we gave ourselves the best option we, we felt like we had at some point. Obviously, the rain helped slow down their offense. But what was your defense doing well and hadn't stopped the run that well? Really, all year. Yeah, it was it was good. That's a big challenge with them, as I mentioned all week. They're big. They are big. And they're physical, and their backs are, are electric, as you can tell tonight with some of the runs that they made. They create some some difficult formations with the way they do a nice job with the way they crack off of some tight sets, and they they really get physical and, and walk uh, certain guys and then bounce it and make it run on your corners. You saw some of that uh, late. You know, exposed us a bit, and it got it got tough. Um, you know, late in the half, but early, uh, I thought our coaches had a really nice plan. Our guys played really hard. We were playing good up front. Um, we were precise on those little nuances of that type of fits, and uh, they, you know, they played really good and they played really hard. Max has been so good all year. What happened on the punt that he, he just missed it. He just it went missed right it. Here. Yeah, to be honest with you, I I, I had to ask somebody myself. I, I didn't see the actual punt. In the perimeter, but uh, um, you know he's been solid all year. He just missed one. Are you feel like your defense is like growing every week? I, I do. I really do. I feel like uh, you know, they, they, just like I told the team there. I mean, you know, we kept we, we keep the right mindset and continue to prepare like we did. I feel really good about the past two, three weeks with the guys' attitude, their effort. They're playing hard. They're they're they're, they're gaining a lot of experience as this year goes on, and, um, you know, they're getting better with that, with the games. Um, you know, to, you know, look at that, 52 yards combined, passing to, you know, both, adding both teams together, um, you can tell it was a difficult night. So, uh, before everybody likes to throw darts at Lynn in the pass game, I mean, uh, they have one hell of a quarterback over there and threw them off 35 yards tonight. I mean, it was tough. Yeah, it was difficult. Point, yeah. I think he threw just one pass in the second half. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The fourth down there. Some of the pre snap penalties I mean, keep showing up. What, what they did. It did. One uh, in particular that I think in the first half, it probably cost us the first down. Uh, was key. Um, you know, in a hostile environment like this, you know, there's going to be some. You know, there's some timing issues with that when we're bringing a guy in motion. Uh, the guys were very clear on how to get that corrected, and they did after that. Um, so, um, recalls as many after that. 
you got you're on your third option at quarterback. You're playing a top ten team on the road, but yet you still had a chance to win. What does it say about your guys to be in the? Well, you know, I'm very proud of our players, and um, not because we we play hard and come close. You know that. You know our programs well beyond. Um, you know, just wanting to play somebody close. We we play to win each and every week. But it's about their preparation, their attitude, and the things that we're doing. And, and uh, you know, I, I've been pleased. It's been a tough season. And, uh, but look around our league, as you guys do. And, and you know, you know, a lot of people aren't tuned in uh, to, to the other 13 teams in our league. But take a look around. Stuff's difficult. You know, just, just uh, we'd like to have a camera and some of our head coaches uh, bringing talks there beforehand when we're talking to each other. It's a, we, we, we have a tendency to console each other for about a minute. And it's, uh, it's tough, it's a grind, but it is what it is. So I'm pleased with our team's mentality. I think we're getting better. As I mentioned, that the defense, we're growing offensively. We're down to some options, but the guys are playing hard. Their attitude's right. Uh, you know, coming in here, um, you know, different different, different beast, you know. It's a, it's a tough group, and uh, they are very, very talented. And, uh, you knew that you would have their full attention after last week. This team will be a top five team again by the end of the year. Nick about to get hurt in the first half. He did. He did. He took a shot on the shoulder, uh, AC joint. Uh, that'll be a pain tolerance then. You know, with when and how it gets back, how fast. Swearing out some Cash got uh, dinged up, so he he had to be removed. Yeah. Uh, Square nose come on for 16 tackles against the off the front of Jordan. I've been there on that side. I'll please for you. I, I, I thought they did some really good things. You could tell, you know, when you play a team like this and you pound the ball, and you, you mentioned they only threw it once, several the second half, but you keep on taking those shots all night long. And that, that gets tough. And that, that's where that is an issue. You've got to have some guys in there and some bigger guys because. Um, they have some really big physical players, and, and their backs keep on coming downhill. And so those guys that are beat up, I just checked with all of them, walked around the locker room before I came in here, but they all seem good. You know, chins up, and uh, you know they can handle it, and they'll come back strong. First time, does the rain affect what you wanted to do offensively? Well, it, 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 it does. It, it did on, with both teams, uh, but we both have to play in it, so it is what it is. Um, but it, it definitely affected. The play calling in the game, they, they affected with some big dudes and had a chance to look at some of the plays and some of the things we were doing and uh, have some film uh, to look at and take away uh, some of our bread and butter plays with Lynn there. And so it makes it tough. Morgan seems like Yusuf Corker has been playing really well recently. What, what did you like about him that you've seen that potential? Yeah, he, he, kind of he, he is. He's a, he's a big guy. And he's physical. He's, he's got some twitch to him to run. So he's getting better and better with just playing and that experience. This is his first uh, time playing like this, and so he's getting better and better. Um, again, it's important with a game like this. I thought he was, he was uh, pretty solid because they create some angles and some, some fits that make it, they make it tough. And they bounce the ball and get it on that perimeter, get big backs on, on our small guys. What was the move like at halftime when it's still scoreless and you guys are getting ready to see the ball that kind of walked? Oh, they were real positive. They were real positive at half. Um, guys were um, good. They do it their normal routine. Where they sit with their group, get together, um, you know, talk about things that are going on, things to try to get fixed, and look at options and until the coaches get done and we're going to break out. And, but they were good and positive. Anything else? Thank you guys. Thank you.